What's going on everyone, Cubologist here, and today this is going to be kind of a combination video. I wanted to show you guys what I actually got in for the contest. I ordered these on November 24th, and they actually got here on the 27th, which is pretty amazing shipping from Cubes for Speed because they're all the way across the country. We're talking West Coast to West Virginia. So definitely go check them out. The Tang Long's only $15 right now, which is one of the better prices right now. And as you can see, I got pink, blue, and black. And I asked you guys on Twitter which one I should use today, even though I didn't tell you why I was asking. I just put the colors up there in a poll and you chose black. So that's what I'm gonna be using in the average today. And that's gonna be the second part of this. It's gonna be just like a typical average of five commentary, but I wanted to show you these beautiful things right when I got them. And now let's move on to the average. So the funny thing about this is, you guys know I'm using the out of the box black Tang Long. I actually get my personal best average of five, which is pretty amazing to me because I'm not using my main. It was still a little bit catchy, but maybe I just got some easy scrambles, but I won't spoil the average. I'll let you guys look in the description if you want to because the times and the scrambles will be there and you all can beat my times as usual and brag about it in the comments. So what I actually wanted to talk about today, as you can see by the title, is competing and improving and how to deal with that and the ways that I've found to approach that that makes it so you never lose. Now that might sound a little bit questionable just to hear it at first, never lose. Obviously I lose because I'm not fast. But if you approach it a certain way, I think it's easier to handle everything and it actually takes pressure off of you while you're competing and it might help you even do better if that's your ultimate goal. But what I wanted to talk about is something that I hear at competitions all the time. And it's people saying, you know, I don't really care how I do. I just want to beat this person or I want to beat that person. And I don't really approach it that way. Maybe I should. But the way I see it is I just want to beat my old self. I'm competing against how good I was last time. And now maybe some of you guys don't have goals that involve times or involve podiums or things like that. Maybe your goal could be, I want to talk to more people. If you have a little bit of social anxiety or something, I know that's pretty typical. I've talked to a few people that don't really enjoy the social aspect of cubing, but maybe that's your goal. Or maybe it is just to compete for the first time. Just set goals for yourself to improve yourself personally and don't really measure yourself against other people because I've found if you don't win, it puts you in a bad place. And if you do win and you're overly excited, it could possibly put the other person in a bad place. So nobody really wins. And even though it's really tempting to do because competition is fun and it gets your adrenaline going, I think that it's better just to compete against your past self. I actually broke some of my personal bests this last weekend at Florida Feast and I was so happy. But when I was going down there and I was talking to some of my friends, I had already decided that I'm just going to have fun. I want to hang out with some of my friends. I want to see people I hadn't seen in a while. I want to film for you guys. And if I didn't beat my personal bests, I was still going to have a good time because my ultimate goal was to have more fun than I did last time and maybe meet some more people. And I accomplished that because there was no pressure. And since I did that, it actually helped me with my three by three solves and I ended up getting a personal best. But if you set a goal and you go ahead and accept all the outcomes, so I knew that I might not break my personal best. I knew that I might. It didn't really matter either way. I just knew that I was going to have fun and that I was going to see everybody. And that was the big deal to me. That was what I really wanted to do. So once I had accepted everything that could happen, I really couldn't lose because I knew that either way it was going to be a great time. And that's what happened. It was amazing and everything went perfectly. But let me know what your all's philosophy is on competing and improving and how you manage that. But I really appreciate you guys watching. Give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed and you'll hear from me soon.